so humbled every day that we get to experience what we experience on this stage. Any doubt, any fear, any lack of confidence that we have must now wash away. We must be brave, Lord. How did this happen? How did this, how did, who created this? Because I, I didn't create this. I for sure didn't. It's, it's God. It's for sure Jesus. It ain't me. Uh, you were raised as a Catholic. What are your feelings toward the church and religion in general? I'm very religious. I was raised Catholic. I believe in Jesus. I believe in God. I'm very spiritual. I pray very much. My fans and I started developing our relationship very early on, but it wasn't until Bad Romance came out that I realized that we were in the fire together, and that they really understood me. They were just as rebellious. The Bible warns us against rebellion. It says in 1 Samuel 15, 23, that rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Lady Gaga has some Catholics outraged for releasing a song just in time for Holy Week where she declares her love for Judas, the apostle infamous for betraying Jesus. In this music video, we see Lady Gaga on the back of Jesus' motorcycle, and all of the other writers are named the same as the apostles, and then she notices Judas. As the song progresses, she sings about her love for Judas and not for Jesus. Does anybody know what I hate? I hate the truth. In fact, I hate the truth so much, I prefer a giant dose of any day over the truth. Jesus says, in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So in saying that she hates the truth, she essentially hates Jesus because he is the very definition of truth. In Lady Gaga's video for her song Alejandro, right after Gaga is seen wearing a huge, satanically inverted cross in a way that's too sexually perverted to show, she reveals herself swallowing rosary beads, which is an idea she appropriately stole from Satanist Kenneth Anger in a satanic propaganda film, Inauguration of the Pleasure Dome, where we see the same thing taking place. I don't know if people in this room are religious, and I always feel kind of awkward talking about religion, um, but I see God in my fans. I truly see God in my fans. They are, they are, they are who I worship is what I'm trying to say. And I believe what you worship in your life doesn't have to be religion or an institution or a certain kind of God. I worship my fans is what I'm trying to say. They are, they are my religion. while while the bus is moving or does it have to come to a stop yeah you... well sometimes they don't want to and they're saying you know gaga we can't get you know the, the frequency is weird and you know it's sounding a little bit strange and i'm like if you don't get this right now i swear to lucifer i swear to lucifer i swear to lucifer i swear to lucifer hey i am obsessed with this woman she is so incredible she is a limitless human being she is so incredible. She is so boundless. Marina, I think you are so wonderful. So beautiful and inspiring. I love you, Marina. This woman, Marina Abramovic, is doing a ritual called spirit cooking. And the ritual that she does with breast milk, menstrual blood, sperm, feces, and urine. 
Okay, John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, he had his emails hacked, and thousands of those scandalous ones have been posted on the website WikiLeaks. But right in the middle of all those, there's this very short, very boring email right here. Its subject line is just dinner. I mean, couldn't be more boring. It's from John Podesta's brother, Tony, asking John if he and his wife, Mary, would join him at dinner at the house of someone named Marina Abramovich. You can see the original invitation from Abramovich to Tony right at the bottom there. It says, Dear Tony, I'm so looking forward to the spirit cooking dinner at my place. Do you think you will be able to let me know if your brother is joining? All my love, Marina. So why is this included among scandals and crimes on WikiLeaks? Well, it's because it's not a normal dinner. It's a spirit cooking dinner. And this is spirit cooking. It's an occult ritual that Marina Abramovich has been doing for 20 years. Here are some excerpts from her own videos on the subject. Now she calls herself an artist, of course she does. How much of it is just to shock and profane and to defile? And how much of it is real? Well, three years ago, she was asked that question on the website Reddit. Here's how the exchange went. Marina, what place do you see the occult having within contemporary art? Can magic be made, not simply appropriated and performed? And she answered, everything depends on which context you were doing what you were doing. If you were doing the occult magic in the context of art or in a gallery, then it is the art. If you were doing it in different context, in spiritual circles or private house or on TV shows, it is not art. So back to the Podesta email. This spirit cooking was at Abramovich's home. Apparently Abramovich's planned dinner with Podesta was not merely art as Abramovich admitted in an online interview when asked about Crowley's magic spelled with a K, she stated, quote, everything depends on which context you are doing what you are doing. If you are doing the occult magic in the context of art or in a gallery, then it is the art. If you are doing it in a different context, in spiritual circles or a private house, e.g. John Podesta and her, or on TV shows, it is not art. The intention, the context of what is made and where it is made defines what art is or not, end quote. As wicked and as evil as the satanic cake of light ritual is, the spirit cooking ritual becomes all the more sinister when we read from Aleister Crowley himself that the blood is to be procured, at least in part, from a child's sacrifice. In Crowley's Book of the Law, he gives evil and twisted instructions in regard to the ingredients of spirit cooking, which he claimed were dictated to him by a spirit entity named Iwas, whom he identifies in other writings as Satan himself. In the so-called cakes of light, which are at the heart of Abramovich's spirit dinner, Satanists are instructed to provide, quote, rich, fresh blood, then the fresh blood of a child, end quote. We read that Satan instructed Crowley and Satanists in the Book of the Law after instructing to use rich, fresh blood that, quote, the best blood is of the moon monthly, speaking, of course, of menstrual blood, then the fresh blood of a child, or dropping from the host of heaven, then of enemies, then of priests, or of worshippers, last of some beast, no matter what, this burn of this make cakes and eat unto me, end quote. This is a reference to the spirit that is channeling Crowley, wanting worship from child sacrifice. A sacrifice that Abramovich and John Podesta, and who knows how many others, potentially practice. Incredibly, in Abramovich's spirit cooking video, we see her bring an effigy of a child that she puts near the wall with the other ingredients as part of the spirit cooking dinner. She then proceeds to splash the child effigy with blood. The demonic entity that identified itself as Satan to Crowley demanded to be worshipped by the sacrifice of children repeatedly. The book of the law commands, quote, Worship me with fire and blood. Worship me with swords and spears. Let blood flow in my name. I will give you their flesh to eat. Sacrifice cattle after a child. Kill and torture, spare not. Be upon them. End quote. Here we see her walking around one of her so-called art shows where cakes are formed into human bodies and then eaten. Different celebrities appear with throughout this show, including Blondie and Gwen Stefani. This is another Marina Abramovich performance art party on November 12th, 2011, that Gwen Stefani uh, attended. Um, this is not a real person, of course. At first glance, it may look like it. It's just a cake. But this is another ritualistic, uh, an actual ritual that they're partaking in, and it's disturbing. These models bring out what looks to be like uh, naked people, and they're doing this in sort of there you go. Uh, I mean, it looks like some sort of Egyptian ceremony where they would bring out the dead. looks to 
be like doctors, of course, these, this is all just performance ritual. And they begin to literally cut off the genitals of the body first and eat them. Here we see Lady Gaga and her good friend, Crowley and Satanic Spirit Cooker, Marina Abramovich, participating in a very disturbing blood-eating simulation. Abramovich seems to have a real strange fascination with blood sacrifice and even cannibalism. Lady Gaga again, enjoying the spoonful of fake blood off of that faux dead body. 